Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, I am going to teach you about logarithms. Logarithms is a completely new section for grade 10 students. So let's get started with the basics of logarithms. First of all, let us see how to write the index form of a certain number in the logarithmic form. Look at this. 2 to the power 3 is called the index form and the expanded form of it is 2 into 2 into 2. We know now 2 into 2 into 2 is 8. Therefore, 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8. In this case, 2 is the base, 3 is the power and 8 is the answer of this index form. Now, let's write this in logarithmic form and it will look like this. Now, here you have to clearly understand the bases do not change. The base in the index form is 2 and the base in the logarithmic form is also 2. And we read this as log base 2, 8 is equal to 3. Now, 3, the power in the index form is the answer in the logarithmic form and the remaining digit we write along with the log base 2 part. So, you have to have a clear idea about how to write the index form in logarithmic form and vice versa. Right, now let us see how to apply this knowledge in some questions. Here, the question is to find the unknown term in each expression. Let us see the first example. Log base 2, 64 is equal to x. Now, here, first step is to convert this into the index form. What we do is we take 2, that is the base. We write the base as 2. Power will be the answer, that is x. And 64, right, we write on the other side of the equal sign like this. So, this is 2 to the power x is equal to 64. Now, the next step is we have to write 64 as a power of 2. Because once when the bases are equal, we can equate the powers. So, let us do that. 64 is 2 to the power 6. Now, in both the sides, the bases are 2. Therefore, we can equate the index. That is, x is equal to 6. Moving on to the next example. Log base x, 125 is equal to 3. Once again, we follow the same procedure. We write this logarithmic form in the index form like this. Now, in this case, x is the base, power will be 3 and the answer will be 125. So, x to the power 3 is 125. In that case, now 125 we must write as something to the power 3. Now, you know 125 is 5 to the power 3. Now, look carefully. The indices in this case are equal. Both has power 3. Therefore, automatically the bases must be equal. Therefore, x is equal to 5. Moving on to the third example. Log base 10, x is equal to minus 3. Right. Now, let's do the same way. We have to write this as a index. So, then 10 is the base. Now, here power will be minus 3. 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to x. Right. 10 to the power minus 3, let's write it as a fraction because the power is negative. Once when you take it, in order to make it a positive power, you know you should take it down as a denominator. Right. Then... 1 over 10 to the power 3 is equal to x. 1 over 10 to the power 3 is 1 over 1000. So, x is equal to 0 0.001. So, this is how you apply the previous knowledge of writing a, an index in logarithmic form in sums. Now, let us see the next part of this section that is the laws of logarithms. The first law says log base a 
m n here in this case it is m into n a product can be written as the sum of the two logarithmic terms of the expression separately that is log a m n is equal to log base a m plus log base a n the next one is a quotient or a division can be written as a subtraction now in this case log base a m over n is equal to log base a m minus log base a n always remember we have to write the numerator first now in this case the numerator in the fraction is m therefore here i have written m first if you write it the other way around then your answer will be wrong so then you have to remember that as well the next law is that log base a a is equal to 1 if the base and the value along with the log term is same then the answer is 1 and the last law is that log base a 1 is always 0 whatever the base is if you are to find the logarithm of 1 related to a certain base answer will be always 0 given that a cannot be 1 fine then let's move on to some more questions on logarithms that can be simplified using these laws look at the first example we have to evaluate log base 3 3 plus log base 3 9 so in this case it is plus in between the two logarithmic values we learnt in the previous law the first law of logarithm if there is a sum that can be written as a multiplication so i write this as 3 into 9 then we know 3 into 9 is 27 27 can be written as log base 3 3 to the power 3 so then here the answer is very simple the power will be the answer that is 3 then moving on to another example log base 10 8 plus log base 10 5 log base 10 4 must be subtracted now here both addition and subtraction are involved the addition part we write as multiplication the subtracting part we write as division so once when it is done 8 into 5 divided by 4 so once when you simplify that part it will be log base 10 10 you know 8 into 5 is 40 40 divided by 4 is 10 so here see the carefully we can apply the third law both the base and the value with logarithm symbol is the same so the answer will be 1 moving on to another example write log base a 36 in terms of log base a 4 and log base a 3 so here 36 must be written as a product of 4 and 3 respectively so that it can it can be easily written in terms of log a ba log base a 4 and log base a 3 so first step write 36 as a product of 4s and 3s you know 3 into 3 is 9 9 into 4 is 36 so it can be written like that now each part with the multiplication sign can be written as a sum according to the first law of logarithm so here i split this and write it like log base a4 plus log base a3 plus log base a3 and that marks the end of that question because now we have written log base a36 in terms of log base a4 and log base a3 the last example you have to simplify and find the value of x so don't get confused as you see this uh, you have a whole number here at the end log base 10 everywhere it's log base 10 log base 10 x minus log base 10 2 is equal to log base 10 3 minus log base 10 4 plus 1 so the 1 must be converted to logarithmic form since it is base 10 i write 1 like this now in this case instead of 1 i have written this part 
if you see carefully log base 10 10 is equal to 1 so no change the expression's value is not changed instead of 1 i have put a logarithmic value then now we'll apply the logarithmic laws log x minus 2 so that is minus there if it is minus we know it must be written as a division x divided by 2 and on the other side it is 3 minus 4 plus 10 so in that case 3 divided by 4 multiplied by 10 right so i can write it like that right now the log bases are same we can neglect it and take only the values so i can equate x by 2 is equal to 3 into 10 by 4 now here very simply we can cancel 2 and 4 so you will have a 2 there and once again 2 and this 10 can be cancelled so you will have a 5 there so the answer is 3 into 5 that is 15 so in this case x is equal to 15 so this is how you use the laws of logarithms in simplifying questions of this kind. So, see you with another smart math tip. Until then, goodbye.